First boot sale back. Let's get it. <laughs> From America. Did you speak? It's a well known mic. Check specific. How much are you doing? 50. I'll try and keep out your way. Oh. I love a little box of random bits. How much are the bits and pieces in there? Uh, Makes an offer for the lot if you want. I definitely don't need the lot, man. I'm, I'm only after one thing to be honest. What's that, that controller? Yeah. Uh, ten, uh, ten quid? Yep. I'll leave that one, mate. Thank you, though. There you go. Thank you very much. No problem. Thank you. Oh, well, well. Hello. Hello. Johnny Greenwood, I've messaged you a few <laughs> How are you mate, you alright? You, you good? Okay. Yeah, very good my Just friend. Just a man actually. Just a man, what, you found some clothing? Oh, I don't know about this. You're no, on camera by the way, okay. so uh, oh, I'll, I'll no cut worries. you out if you want to. It yeah, looks like an old one, it's real similar. Yeah. Made in Italy, that's a bit weird. That is a bit weird, that's what I was thinking. I looked inside. Where is, got, has got, it got the RN number on the back of the tag? Oh, maybe. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I would buy that as a as, as a maybe in my head. I'd, like a maybe, yeah. I'd buy it for maybe money. So what's that one as well? I won't take them. I'll leave them too if you're going to get them. Made in Thailand. That's more like it. But then again, it's a tough one, isn't it? Because oh, that, that is an old polo tag. Yeah, yeah, a vintage yeah. Tag. That's what that's what was throwing me off. Have a look. I don't know what, what, what they're asking for. I mean, this, this ditching is lovely on them. It is. If they're cheap nice, enough, mate, get them. How much is your um, jacket? This one. This one. Four quid, did you say? Five. Oh, I thought it was four. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, five quid off. I, I, I'd cut the rest of that one. That's actually in my head. I don't know. I can't. It's a t-shirt piece. It's like more than 100 pounds. My dad said he got one. He said it's the exact one. same. No, yeah, I mean, no in line. It's, 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 no, I wouldn't, it's, it's not going to have in line. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not going to have in line. No, no. I mean, it is really well done. Yeah, we see that one. It's not my colour, though. It doesn't go in my eyes. Look. <laughs> you got one that doesn't go with your eyes. I've got one that won't fit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, for me, personally, if I saw that, I'd, I'd, for five quid, I would take you know it. What? However, I'm, I'm going to let you do it. However, I ain't doing it. I won't do it. No, 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 no. No, not yet. I'm, not trying, I'm trying to stay away from clothing. <laughs> oh, I've got so much, man. So much now. I picked up. I yeah, picked to be up. fair, that is normally your backdrop. All oh, your yeah. clothing. Big chair that I've got to go and collect. Yeah. Lamps. Yeah. I'm trying to like diversify a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if the chair's going to fit in my car. I'm, not no, I'm, I'm looking at a bit more bit clothing. More clothing yeah. I've just picked up like an old shop jacket. Like, you know, the old ones with the ripper balls? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Proper, yeah, yeah. proper, proper yeah, old school, good, yeah. yeah. Them ones are decent. Yeah, for like four quid, so that was uh, pretty good. I really want you to do a good, good turn on this. Do you know what? I'll give know. it a go because I've just said that I want to do a little bit. And it's, it's you'll, you'll, yeah. you'll get some education out of it. I yeah. am, I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what I'm at with it, and yeah. I'm saying this on camera. I am 70 yeah. 30 on that, yeah. uh, in, in favor of it being real. It looks, it looks the stitch vintage like casual polo wear yeah. ain't, 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 ain't me. The, yeah. the streetwear stuff, I could tell you a mile off. Yeah, I don't know. It is, 
Description's done well. So whenever I find something I'm not too sure about, I look for a hole or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't get it out. Mean. Uh, that's what I mean. There's nothing, is there? No, I'll no. give it a go. Give it a bash, mate. Let me, let me know how you go. Take a look at the right time, <laughs> yeah. I'll see. I'll see you around. Long yeah, laps, no man. Worries, yeah. Cheers, Johnny. <laughs> They're all 50p each, man. Okie dokie, maybe. How much is the tin, mate? Brand each, mate. Brand each. Yeah, I'll have that one, mate, I think. Oh yeah. Appreciate that mate. Have a good one mate. If I don't see anything you. else. See if I spot anything else. <sighs> Lovely. How much? The two take it? Not really, no. Sticking at three? Yeah. I've never seen it before, you got me. That's, that's, where, that's where you win. You win that battle. It used to be worth a fortune, but then again, things have changed a lot recently. I've, I've no idea, mate, about. How much are these, these three? Uh, three, five. The three. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah. That's what said, was five, isn't it? Yeah. Keep an eye on the... Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone's throwing money at you. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> that just caused an absolute... Come on. Fine. Mm. Are you alright getting those or do you want me to come round and put them back, put them back up for you? Is that alright? I'm really sorry lovely, thank you. How much is that mate? Yeah, two pounds. Two, yeah? Yeah. Wow. Thank you sir, have a good day. Have a good one. How much on that mate? Works perfectly. Oh sorry. Controller. For a PlayStation 1 you split the controller out, yeah. So it turns it from a 2 controller to a 6. Well, oh, I suppose it'd be 5 wouldn't it? <laughs> how much is that mate? Sorry? How much is that? 3 quid. And how much is that? 3 quid. How do you think 3 quid? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You picked up the two best bits. Hello? Three quid. The more you have, the cheaper it gets. <laughs> nice tape made of the three quid. So, how about. How much is that? Tell me that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to go for the three. Eight, nine, ten.
these three. We're about to start them. Hello? Hello? Okay, I'm just setting up. You're not going to go out here? Okay. Yeah, it's a bit of trouble, yeah. Literally cold up here as well. Like, cold. I mean, do you want to give me a price or? Yeah, probably would. I thought I'd give it one week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've got to go because I've got people waiting. <laughs> I'm definitely going to take these, but I'll move over there for a sec. Nice, we've got here. The radio motor. Alright, mate, calm down, calm down. Well, how much for these three then, mate? Okay. Um, on. So, three quid each with £10 for three. <laughs> Nine quid then, go on. So, the, so the normal price then, yeah? Yeah, just three quid. Yeah, I'm going to you got, I've got to say, silly one, isn't it? Um, thank you, mate. I'll come back once you've set up a bit, mate, because I know it's a bit annoying. Right, cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going this way. This is the biggest Alton has ever, 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 ever been. Ever. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. Absolutely massive today. <laughs> 20, yeah? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm sure they are. I'm sure they are. They got into it now, they start to see Section, is it? <laughs> Let's see if I can buy something then. That's your 20p box. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you very much, I appreciate it. <laughs> I've got a funny. Is it? <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to find anything in this one, mate. I'll try. Oh, 
Como? Ich habe ihn ich habe ihn Ready? Three, two, one. Got it? Keep change. You keep the change. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 Tell, tell him it's gotta be his box. Tell him it's gotta be his box or I'm not buying it. Oh I'll buy one then. I'll buy one. I'll buy these two. There's a wibble, I think that is. How much are the VHS's? Oh VHS's. What for the two? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. That's okay. There you go, loads of money. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, mate, yeah. Um, I'll take four quid for them ones. Them ones there are a tenner. What, each? No, for the pair. I paid sixteen pounds for them each, right? You know, so it's a good deal, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so. <laughs> How much is the T-shirt? Pounds. Pounds, yeah. Might ask you for that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna ask you for a quid, am I? It's too cool. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you whack it. Oh no. This boggle. So you shake it, look at it, and make a word. <laughs> no, that's literally it. I mean, it's not 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 mock on, not mock on again, but definitely uh, people people love it. I oh, wouldn't dare. Oh, can you imagine me going home with all that. <laughs> Nice and high. Have a little look and see what's in there first. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. A pound for the lot. Yeah. What do I do with the box though? Mm -hmm. The crate. Take it, the take it with me. If you want to, you can have it. I mean, you want to, didn't you? <laughs> oh yeah, of course. There you go, thank you very much. Yeah, let me see if I can do it without breaking anything. Ready? I'll take it straight back to my car, I think, because I want to have a little route around. Well, um, I, I thank you, I think. Oh, yes. <laughs> Definitely. <Thank you. laughs> I appreciate it. Let me go drop this back, thank you. Wow. Uh, Welcome back. So I'm now back from the first car boot of the year. I thought actually the car boots were going to be dead, dry and nothing really going on. But actually they was all very, very busy. As you would have seen in the clips. Um, Did quite well. Some of the stuff I picked up, I don't normally pick up, but I'm trying to sort of diversify a little bit and change what i pick up from the car boots at the moment trying to stay away from tat even though there is good money in it i enjoy it and i have still picked up some tat you will see in a minute i just can't help it 
Um, I'm trying to diversify a little bit, as you'll see. So the last few weeks have been a bit mental for me, the last few months to be fair, but maybe the last month in general, I've been moving. Um, as you all know, I've been trying to get things sorted out, get ready to move and get things into place. Things kept happening, things kept falling up through. Um, problem here, problem there, delay here, delay there. Anyway, I'm now here, this is the new unit. Um, I would normally have the big light on, but let me show you why I haven't. It sort of does that humming thing. It's like a, I'll give you a quick tour as well. It's one of them tube lights. I think I need to get out of a new tube. I don't, it's not a transistor. You hear that? I know you can, I know you can hear it. What am I trying to point at you? Can you hear that? Yeah, so I'm going to get a new tube light. And um, let me leave it on for a minute. I'm going to get a new tube light. Get rid of that and it'll be fine. So let me give you a quick tour of the garage before I give you a tour of the stuff for the hall. <laughs> I did put a little bit on my Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, it's the same as my name on here. Link will be in the description below. Follow on there for some before the YouTube cut things happen. Anyway, so there's a door. We have some racking. This racking here I've dedicated mainly to like suppliers, bubble wrap, um, tools, cleaning stuff. Sam Smell stuff's little toy that I bought off him. Little Batman. The first ever Batman NFT ever. Original um just supplies this is like a supply shelf then we've got one of these little trinkety tub things i have small medium and large bags in here so poly bags and poly mailers just cool got three extra ones down here five extra ones down there actually that I haven't used yet we've got another racking unit here my old racking unit this is the stuff that i have taken photos of and got round to I haven't got around to listing it yet, but I've started taking the photos of it. This snares I got the other day, fantastic. Let me just give you a quick little, oh my God. So this, with all the games, there's 18 games, I think, plus a box snares. The snares is minty, minty fresh. Um, I keep looking at the wrong bit of the camera like that, because I've, I've, I haven't done this for such a long time, properly. The console is minty, minty fresh. £51, I believe it was. Might have been a little bit cheaper. We're not supposed to talk about that. Um, fantastic. So what I've got to do is get a TV that actually tunes it in, and then I can test it out. I did try the other day, but it wasn't tuning in. So anybody who saw my Instagram bragging, joke's on me. I didn't get a chance to do anything. Um, right, okay, then you've got another racking unit here. That racking unit was already in when I moved in. It's massive. It's heavy duty. It was all the way through. It's fantastic. So that's right at the back of the unit. Cardboard area. Tons and tons of cardboard. In fact, from moving... Stacks of cardboard. Uh, we've got a window behind there, which is fantastic. I'm not, I haven't blocked it up. Well, I have, but not on purpose. It's just because that's where I, the only space I can have to keep that cardboard flat is up against the window. Um, and we have a, I'm just going to show you my stuff's there, but you'll see it in a minute. Um, packing area, uh, like a working area. So I do have a work board behind here. Shout out to Kieran for the tip. So you only got some MDF board. And you can see it. When you got some MDF board, then got some vinyl just covered it in there doesn't matter about them bits one two backdrop done i've got a space here this tumble dryer is going so i've got space here my packing area is going to be be there so that'll be fun because obviously i want to try and keep that area and that area separate um my bedroom's above not that that matters but it means the Ceiling's plastered. Just adds that little bit of extra insulation. I've got to keep looking at the wrong places. Amateur. Oh, it's because I'm holding it in the wrong hand. Is that what? Oh, I don't know. Who knows? I don't even know anymore. Um, there is tons and tons of plug sockets in here. One behind. There it is. You've got a plug socket up there. Four plug sockets there. I think two more under there somewhere. Or four more under there somewhere. Uh, and um, the, the, there's a the floor. So that's a tour of the place. Uh, it's a lot smaller than what I'm used to being in the other spot, but that was never going to be forever. And I could never get comfortable enough in that place for it to be uh, forever. So this is now for as long as I'm here. And I intend to be, we intend to be here for quite a while now until finances change substantially, that we can go and get a massive place um so this is the new unit i am obviously gonna make a little spot inside the house for live streaming and things like that and talking a bit more cash when i'm not surrounded by stuff from car boots and stuff 
Um, so that'd be a lot nicer and a lot cleaner in there and consistent. Not that it matters too much, but for me it does. I want to have somewhere where I know not tonight. Sunday waffle. Don't know if this video is going to go out tonight. I haven't edited a video for a very long time. So it's whether we get around to doing it or not. But Sunday waffles tonight. And I tend to do it in there. I haven't got the unit. I don't know why I'm saying this yet because I haven't even got the unit. Eventually I'll get a unit and we'll be somewhere constant. Shut up. No one cares. Right. So should we get into the hall? Let's take a little look. I'm going to sit here and just grab things that I can and then I will stand up and spin you around for things that I, I may, may or may not be able to. Done a little bit of research on all of them. So I have a rough idea of prices in my head. I will be putting the screenshots up here somewhere of the stuff that I found. So there may be discrepancy in price a little bit, but yeah. So I think I'm going to start off with a Jack from the Global Thrifters Inspired Special. There's a stall, a, uh, it's a fishing reel, it's a vintage fishing reel. It's for sea fishing. Um, pen number 49, made in the USA. It's got a lovely like marbleite, marbleite uh, handle. Needs a little bit of work. Needs a little bit of cleaning. It's got some patina. Patina is a great word when you're talking about things being thrashed and trashed. Um, but function wise, <laughs> fail. Function wise, it's fine. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a clean up and see what kind of work it needs to get it sparkling. It's in good condition. They're going from anywhere between 30 to 70 pounds. You can see here, condition dependent, of course. It's not in great condition now. I'm very, very comfortable that I could put this up for 20 pound now and get that, but I'm gonna clean it a little bit first and I'm gonna put it up for 55 and take offers from there. I paid five pound. I don't know if I said that or not. But yeah, we'll see. I've got to do a lot more research. It is Sunday, I've been home 20 minutes, so I've got to do a bit more research on stuff. Next up, we have a Panasonic cassette tape radio combine. Somebody's got 12, no, somebody got £7.50 plus postage on bids, and somebody's put one up for parts only for £18. This is in remarkable condition, if I'm honest. Um, it's in really good condition. I picked it up without knowing because it's quite heavy duty, so you know, you can tell when something's been made quality. It is Panasonic, not the best brand in the world, things like that, but. I think it was, you have to look back on the footage. Uh, oh, I know, oh, I know where this one came from. This came from that guy. I'll get, I paid £3 for this. I'll tell you about the rest of it when I get to the rest of the stuff. Nothing too special, but I know where that came from now. £3 I paid, a lot of money. I bought three things off him. And the other one was this. In fact, some more to get around to it now. This is a Mad Cats four way splitter from 1998. This is for the PlayStation 1. You plug it into your controller port and it enables you to have four instead of one. So you don't get six, you get five if you're plugging this into the other one. So you get the other one plus this four. So you end up with five. It's for Mad Cats. Mad Cats are really big on the third party stuff. Um, yeah, Mad Cats Inc. 1998. So I bought this for three pounds as well. The Panasonic tape player for three pounds as well. And this. I got off him. I haven't been able to find one yet for to research the price, but it's got to be at least 20 squid, isn't it? So when people don't listen to me in the car boot sales, like I'm trying to say, excuse me, how much is that? Excuse me, how much is that? I've now got a weapon. Now it needs batteries. Let's see if I've got the batteries here. This is a Sigma megaphone. <laughs> I can't get it open. It's a transistor megaphone. So I paid £3 for it, so I paid £9 for this, the cassette tape, and the Mad Cats thing. I did say to the bloke, no, nah, I've got that many batteries, my goodness. It was about a thousand of those big block batteries. Um, I asked him how much I think it was, he said, £3, £3, £3. The more you buy, the cheaper it is. Fine. And we had a bit of an attitude, like I didn't want to be there anyway. When I finally got around to ask him, how much for these three then, mate? £10. £10. Like, you've just told me £3 each for those three, the more I buy, the cheaper it gets. Maybe he meant like if I, put, if I buy more than that, he'll do it cheaper. Oh, who knows? But I just paid the £9. Couldn't be bothered. Probably get about 10 quid back on that. Again, I need to research. So if anybody's watching these videos and they're thinking, oh, we're, oh anyone, anyone wants a tenner for that, I'll get into him. 
if I research after the video, it's worth more. I'm not going to sell it for that. But I'm always willing to do deals. I've sold to a few subscribers now. Bumped into one today. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, I'm willing to do deals, always. So hit me up Instagram down below. Thank you very much. Um, we've got a Philips Jog Proof portable radio cassette radio CD player. Um, I paid 50 pence, I want to say, or a pound. Not too sure. 18 back on that. Great condition. All the electronics I haven't tested yet. I've got to test them. So there is that. We've got a Canon Speedlight 244T. This is a flash for a Canon. It is in boxed condition. It is in minty fresh condition. It has the leather insert. It has all of the little paperwork with it. The warranty cards. It is lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, shame it's not worth a ton of money, but it's worth enough. Think it was a pound or 50p again you'll see on the video um i'm gonna put this up for 20 quid with the box in that condition i am probably a collector or buy it i don't think anyone's going to use it next up we have a canon snappy s this is in a lovely red color this is um quite rare quite sought after um camera it is a point and shoot it's it's lovely um the lens looks a little bit Okay, it needs a good sort out. I will give it a good clean up and I will test it out. I won't film test it fully. Uh, if I do, I always say, I used to have a guy uh, who I could go to in the camera shop. I don't have him anymore, which is frustrating. Yeah, but if that works, um, this is going to be a scope, a rummage around scope. And they're between 25 to 70, I believe. Condition, timing, dependent. Um, again, screenshots will be up here somewhere. Paid pound for that i think for a little scratch um canon usb calculator paid 50p it's worth about a tenner not going to bore you with that stuff barber barber christmas pin badge paid 50p it's worth about seven quid then i picked up these empty iphone boxes you got the 2007 iPhone 8 gigabyte. These have all the instructions and stickers and stuff like that in them. And the iPhone 4 box again with all the instructions and sticker. This one has the little black cloth that you get with it as well. Uh, I paid 75 pence each. I think one pound fifty for the two. I'm going to put them both up for around about ten quid each, with or without postage. I'm undecided yet. This is a little bit of a not a fail, but it's not what I thought it would be. Um, vintage plane, not a yeah anyway vintage plane wood plane um or so i thought so it's by a company called faithful looks old and it? it looks nice and vintage it could well be they, they could just be reproducing them again in a modern era but i don't think they are i think i'm correct in saying it's not it's not vintage it just looks it um the bloke it's number four it's a number four size so to the bloke, how much is it? It's a two pound. Oh, I snapped his hand off. Snapped it. Worth about 10 quid. 10 to 20 pounds on that one. Again, condition dependent. Um, right, what else is there? There is a few other bits. This is a, it's called a Third Dimensions PC game. This is from 1995. Basically, you should be able to create and animate things in 3D before the world got cool. That's not worth very much. I have started to create a box for a car boot myself. So that will just go straight into the car boot box. The whole not worth it for me putting it on eBay type thing. That will go straight in the box and take into the next car boot sale. It's going to be a long video. This is, by the way, a long video. We have Michael Jackson Moonwalker on VHS. Very good condition. Lovely, lovely condition. Somebody has got £22 plus postage on that. So I'm going to put it up for £29.99 plus postage. Under the Knife, Nintendo DS game. It looked fantastic. It said recommended for mature audiences. It's got that manga appeal. Um, I'd never seen it before, ever. Thought, oh my God, I've got a good one here. £3, he said. Manual and the game. I'll take it. It's not worth that. But well, it is worth that. It's worth about nine quid. One of my other tactics of car booting at the moment to try and get around a bit quicker is to not sit there researching too much go with gut. And that's what I've been doing. I mean, I haven't completely failed. 
just haven't made as much. There's just not been as much. No, if, if anything, my gut instinct was correct. There was profit. Watch with Mother. So you've got the likes of Bill and Bear and the Flower Pot Men, all of the little characters on here. Um, probably about £7 on that one, the VHS. I thought this would be worth more. Um, Lemon Popsicle, an 18 big box VHS. Probably worth about £7. I'm rushing now because I just realised how long this video is going to be. I haven't even, I mean, I'm 16 minutes into this waffling on. And I haven't even added the car boot clips. I might have to do a montage now. Maybe do a 30 minute car. Anyway, um, Ultimate Real Robots VHS from 2001. You would have got this with the with basically you've had to build robots and stuff, uh, buy it weekly in magazines. That's just a VHS to explain how to do it. Crying Freeman, the first ever live action manga film on DVD. Now I picked this up because I do know that the Blu-ray can sell for around about 50 quid. This sells for about seven on DVD. I paid 50p for it, I think. He wanted four DVDs for a pound, he said. Didn't, couldn't find four that I wanted. Um, right, what else have we got? So because of Jess, Jess is one of our friends and she's also a part of the community, which you've probably seen. Uh, she's in YouTube chat as JJ. Fantastic reseller. Probably probably turns over the most of, I know of every single one of us in the community. The ones that we like, the ones that we don't like, everyone that we know of. This is doing more. So anyone out there saying I'm the best reseller in the world, you're not. Um, anyway, she, she's been talking about picking up freaking tins. I had to leave a load behind today because I could have picked up so much more. Um, so, because tins are cheap and they sell quite well. Bassett's Liquish All Sorts Vintage Tin. Um, product expired June 1989. <sighs> Paid... I think 20p for that, I'm not too sure, maybe 50p, you'd have to have a look in the thing. I'll probably get about £7 back on that. And I paid £5 for some Players Navy Cut cigarette tin, lovely condition, considering. There we go, don't smoke, it's no good for your kids. And two Churchman's number one cigarette tins, paid £5 for the lot. And she was a hard bargain, I, was like, I couldn't bother to vote either. The little mini green ones get about seven fifty all in each, so five pound plus postage. I was about for seven ninety nine, I think. And the other one maybe about seven quid too, so not bad profit back. Not bad. Again, I was just going with gut. Um, oh, sorry, notifications. Uh, what else have we got? Jelly cat monkey. I uh, thought it'd be worth more than it is. I bought that and that. Only a pound each. Paid one pound fifty. This is a Banpresto Lucario. This is a jelly cat monkey. Jelly Cat Monkey is worth around about seven to ten quid. Right, so apparently running out of storage on your phone is a thing. I've had to delete loads of videos and pictures. I was talking about my uh, poorly placed finger. Jelly Cat's worth about seven quid. Lucario has been absolutely battered. Didn't even realise. He's had surgery on his back. He's been stitched up. His nose has lost a lot of its filling. Uh, it's bobbly. But it's cool. So that'll just stay with me, I think. Probably on a shelf somewhere. We'll get a shelf made. Uh, let me let me be quick now. Because otherwise my back's just going to just say, nope, and just die on me. I picked up a... I'll show you now. A Cheney briefcase. Let me just get some extra light situation. Be careful with that chair. Which we'll see why in a minute. Right, I picked up a Cheney briefcase. It's like a doctor's bag. I uh, paid a pound for that. Doesn't have the key. But it's in remarkable condition. For what it is, um, I put it in for about 30 quid back on that. Picked up a Wild Wild West 1999. Remember the film with Will Smith? Um, my daughter's playing with a little twingly bit ding on the door. Paid pound for that. Not vintage, very nice. Never been worn, you can see even the creases. Been worn by a dog by the look of it, but I can lint roll of that off. Picked up a vintage 80s Arsenal flag. Um, it does have the crest on it and it does have the Victoria Concordia Crescent or however you say it right across the bottom um, I picked up a Coca-Cola hat paid 50p probably going to get about 30 quid for the flag somebody's got 31 for that and a bag um, actually I've just seen a stain I probably have for like 19 99 on that actually picked up a Buffalo biker's jacket paid £7 for that um, I need to look into it more but it's probably worth some good money but let me just get some more light on it so you can actually see Wait, what did you say? What light's that? Oh, just this angle poise light. I <laughs> picked up a angle poise. I paid 
15 pound for this it's not in the best condition i did jump the gun a little bit too quickly um it's been used in a workshop she did say it was a late father's i think even in that condition there's still got to be 45 to 50 pound out of it but i'll have a look see if i can scrub it up and obviously try and get a bit more out of it i don't mind putting a little bit of work in coca cola hook i might have shown you that already paid 50p gonna gonna probably keep it and keep it up here so oh and also got for a pound the ladies are gonna have all of this vintage stationery now all i saw was the pencils the long reach staple i mean there's loads of stuff in there for a pound i'm gonna do very well some o-ring and reinforcements i know somebody who could use that there is so much stuff for a pound but my best buy of the day i've been sitting on the whole time it is odd and weird and strange it is a chair now this is by a designer called pierre pauline it's for the magus it's the, the design of this one's called flower it's like a clear plastic design really really smart lovely pink cushioning um i personally won't be keeping this of course it is for sale there is a few scratches here and there um I'm trying to keep it in its best condition as i can but it's lovely it's lovely i think it's the second purchase of the day maybe the first purchase i have to look back but 15 pounds i paid for it 15 pounds paid this is what they retail for new so I'm not too sure what i'm going to aim for so if they're if they're still selling even now for around about 680 euros what's that maybe let's say 600 pounds um i shouldn't struggle to get two should i i've got to get two out of it surely i think i'll do some more research yeah i'll do some more research and then, and then we'll know but that's today's haul that's what we've got today I'll work through it now. It's good to get back out there and get back in the field, get back in the trenches, so to, so to speak. Um, I've got, obviously got still got a lot of work to do at home, working on a space to actually film from, uh, working on the garage, still making it work for me and making it viable. Oh, I also picked this up as well. <laughs> I'm missing stuff. Picked up a Nike bag as well. I'm not gonna show you that because I think I'm just gonna keep it. It's quite a good bag. Picked up some Games Workshop dice. Um, all different sorts in there. I'm sure there's gonna be something worth something in there. Uh, paid 50p for them. And I paid 50p for these ones. These are from 1999, I believe. These are combat cards. Uh, the box is trashed. There is some cards left in it. Can't imagine it's a full set, even if a full set is even a thing. There you go. Pick those up as well. As I was saying, I need to get the place sorted out so it's good for me and um, workable, livable, recordable and all of the balls. So that's it. I am going to crack on and get this up listed now. I did. I don't think I did a running title. I don't know if I have a running title. If I've done one by then, I should put it up here somewhere. If not, you'd have to excuse me for the first few videos. I almost forgot, but you would have seen it in the clips. Johnny Greenwood, thank you for coming over and saying hello, mate. Really appreciate it. Uh, makes all this a little bit more worthwhile. Hope that jacket turned out to be spot on, mate, and not through gazy. Like I did tell you, I was honest. If I picked it up, I'd be picking it up a guessing money. So £5, I think it's absolutely worth it. So thank you very much. Um, with that being said, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here to, be, to keep up with what I'm doing. Thank you ever so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.